Are you tired of using your mouse to click things on your desktop? Do you want to have the ability to press a single button and open all the programs you need to do? Insert task here. Are you too lazy to open twitter.com and tweet pee pee poo poo like a normal person? Do you want to be able to summon a fart noise with the press of a button? Well, do I have a piece of equipment for you? The Elgato Stream Deck. What is an Elgato Stream Deck, TM? I hear you ask? Well, well, I don't really know either, so let's find out. The Elgato Stream Deck is basically a macro keyboard, aka a keyboard that has all sorts of functions, shortcuts, hotkeys, mapped to their keys instead of, like, typing. Well, you might say, Why would I want to get an Elgato Stream Deck when I can just get one of those? The big reason is, is that the Elgato Stream Deck has proprietary software that interfaces with all sorts of other software that you might have on your computer. Such as XSplit Game Capture, OBS, anything that uses hotkeys. For example, in OBS, you can have it start your stream, you can have it stop your stream, you can have it tweet out the stream announcement on Twitter, it can switch scenes, it can mute your mic, and other stuff like that. That's right, not only can the Elgato Stream Deck interface with certain softwares, it can also interface with certain websites like YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter.com to do things like send messages, tweet, chat, but that's boring. Let's see what else we can do with it. It has the ability to open a website, have hotkeys, open programs, copy and paste text basically. Me being a person who draws on the computer, I have set my stream deck up with a whole bunch of hotkeys that I use a lot. So I don't have to reach around my monitor every five seconds to press a weird key. Needless to say, this thing has a lot of functions and stuff that it can do. And the fact that it can like put hotkeys on these keys and really expand its usefulness to people who are not just interested in streaming but to like artists, to editors, to uh, just a bunch of other things. Now to talk about the like actual product, the physical thing I guess. So the one I have is the 15 key one, which costs usually $150. You have the LCD screen that's beneath the actual keys. The keys feel good to actually touch and they don't feel like they're going to break anytime soon. But there is a smaller one for $100 which has 9 keys on it and probably is too expensive for whatever if it's too expensive for you. But there is a 32 key one that is $250 which is crazy. These LCD keys using the uh, software that you download from the Elgato website, they allow you to customize what is actually showing up on the key and that's keys and that's sort of where you program the keys and stuff and it's really good it allows you to input it allows you to import photos such as PNGs JPEGs and other things like that as well as GIFs or GIFs whatever how you want to pronounce it and when it's a toggle like on or off sort of thing you can have multiple ones so that's cool everything is bright everything is clear but no whatever that's good it's fine. It doesn't feel like it's going to break at all. It's very easy to set up. It's just one core going to the thing to the computer and then you just download the software and you're basically done. I would recommend the Elgato Stream Deck to anyone who is a creative person who has a lot of has to work with a lot of shortcuts and stuff that doesn't want to have like an extra full sized uh, keyboard just on their desk for macros or hotkeys. The expanded ability to have it like interface with OBS, Streamlabs, Elgato itself is pretty good and probably worth it for people who are like streaming but this I would recommend for people who are like do a lot of creative stuff I guess you need to like have apps open quickly and stuff but I would recommend it I wouldn't say tell you to not buy it if you're trying if you would ask me to if you wouldn't buy it I guess Thank you.